Planning, Protection, and Optimization, Module 5, Lesson 3, Information Security Management Activities, Methods, and Techniques. Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 3. In this lesson, we're going to study the activities, methods, and techniques related to information security management. This lesson includes key activities, security controls, management of security breaches and incidents. As we've discussed, the purpose of information security management is to make sure that security aspects of services and service management are appropriately managed. Information needs to be kept secure following strategic direction set by business management. We're going to start this lesson by looking at some of the key process activities. The key activities in the information security management process include production, review, and revision of the information security policy and supporting policies, communication, implementation, and enforcement of policies, assessment and classification of all information assets and documentation. We've got some more activities coming up. Further important activities for information security management include implementation, review, revision, and improvement of security controls, management of risk assessment and responses, monitoring and management of security breaches and incidents, analysis, reporting, and reduction of security breaches and incidents, and scheduling and completing security reviews, audits, and penetration tests. Are these activities carried out in your organization? You'll find a diagram in the study guide for this lesson that shows how these activities fit together as a comprehensive security management process. The information security management processes, together with the methods, tools, and techniques, constitute the security strategy. It is the responsibility of the security manager to ensure that technologies, products, and services are in place and that the overall policy is developed and well published. Their responsibility also includes security architecture, authentication, authorization, administration, and recovery. The security strategy needs to address how it will embed good security practices into every area of the business. Consideration must be given to training and awareness as part of the overall strategy. Security is often weakest at the end-user stage, when users either inadvertently or deliberately create a security breach. Methods and processes need to be developed that enable the policies and standards to be easily followed and implemented. Security and technical resources need to be assigned to track developments in enabling technologies and the products they support. For example, privacy is becoming a greater concern for information security. As technology gets more complex, information security management needs to manage the privacy compliance technology that acts as an enabler. You can see here why management support is so necessary for this process to provide resources and invest in technology where needed. The next area we're going to study in this lesson is the types of security controls. Security is not just a step in the life cycle. It cannot be delivered by technology alone. Information security must be an integral part of all services and systems. It needs to be viewed as an ongoing process that is continuously managed using a set of security controls. 